didn't so I woke up this morning and I was like I do not want to make a video I looked in the mirror and it looked like someone had just taken red paint and gone all over my face That's how bad my skin is right now Don't know if you can see got some sweet bumpy action happening right here But you know I always try to be real and honest with you guys like the time I shared the story about the giant gap in my teeth So I was thinking maybe the reason that I don't want to make a video is the reason I should make a video I had acne at age 10, which is way earlier than most people. I remember I had two little dots on my chin, like a little snake bite, and I went to gymnastics and the other 10 year olds were like, what is wrong with your face? That can't be acne because we're 10 and we don't have acne. But I had it and it was super embarrassing. And so I talked to my mom about it and she started me on the wonderful skincare regimen that most people don't start until they're a teenager. So there I was as a 10 year old learning how to wash my face and then put on toner and then put on some different kind of toner and then put on this kind of lotion and then this, put this kind of sunscreen on and then this kind of, yeah, there's too much. <laughs> and guess what? It didn't help. So instead, I used to sneak into my mom's bathroom and steal her cover-up, like a tiny little criminal. At around age 12, I started doing TV. I'm pretty sure that all makeup artists in Hollywood are just used to painting on these beautiful, perfect canvases. So when I sit down and it looks like somebody has like splattered spaghetti all over my face, they're like, what do I do with this? And the makeup artist would always like try to make me feel better and like not say anything and just be cool about it. And then I would always see them go and talk to my mom afterward. I remember one time when I was appearing on Even Stevens, uh, Christy Carlson Romano walked by and my mom just goes, oh, look at her skin. It's like peaches and cream. And I was just like, <laughs> I mean, I know she didn't mean to make me feel bad, but like I felt like a monster at that moment. I'm so pretty. The only time that kind of made me feel better is when I booked my role on All That and my makeup artist, Michael Johnston, um, he told me that Amanda Bynes used to be the same way as me. He said that during the Amanda show, she would run from her dressing room to the makeup room with her hands covering her face because she didn't want anyone to see how bad her skin was. But nonetheless, uh, the makeup staff uh, had my mom take me to a bunch of different dermatologists. These were like the top dermatologists in Beverly Hills and none of them could do anything for me. Everything they put me on failed. Pills and the creams and the like lasers, treatments and the shots and all sorts of crazy stuff, nothing helped. As a last resort, they put me on this horrible poison called Accutane. This medication is so intense that you have to get your blood drawn every month to make sure you're not dying. Which is great because every time I get my blood drawn, I pass out. So that also happened to me every month. If you've never been on it, uh, Accutane basically turns you into a mutant. And I don't mean like a cool crime-fighting mutant that can like like an X-Man that can shoot lasers out of your- No, I mean like your your skin turns into fish scales. I just got rashes just up and down my arms, my legs. Like, it, this seems kind of counterproductive. So after months of that, they took me off it because it didn't do anything. And since then, uh, society has come out with these amazing things called HD cameras and HD televisions so you can just see everything super crystal clear. Like, that's been a serious problem for me over the last couple years. I've actually turned down jobs and not gone to appearances because my skin was really bad that day. In fact, I just booked a guest appearance on Game Shakers on Nickelodeon recently and the day we filmed happened to be a day that I had a terrible breakout and I felt incredibly self-conscious all day and I had a really hard time giving a good acting performance because I knew those HD cameras were just zoomed in on me. And if you think that I'm crazy and that my skin looks fine, then you should see the type of makeup I use. This is, this is what I use. It is thick, thick, thick makeup. This is like silly putty. This is like the crap that you use to fill in nail holes in your wall before you move out of your apartment so you can get your security deposit back. Even though you and I both know you're not getting that deposit back. I mean, come on, you were hiding pets. As another example of knowing that this just isn't in my head and this is a real fun thing that I get to deal with, uh, recently I had an agent not sign me because of my skin. They actually phoned up my manager and said, our meeting went really well, but her skin is really not great, so we're not gonna sign her. Awesome. So pretty much Photoshop is my best friend. We're BFFs. I get really nervous when like the really beautiful actresses are like, we need to ban Photoshop because it's an unrealistic depiction of what people look like. I'm like, you better Photoshop all of my pictures or I'm gonna cry myself to sleep every night for the rest of my life. I'm pretty sure anybody who doesn't like Photoshop is just beautiful and perfect and probably a robot and we should 
kill them before they take over humanity. But I'm also a giant hypocrite because nothing makes me feel better than when those pictures are released of like, oh, look at Beyonce without makeup. Oh, look at Katy Perry before she was retouched. So basically to conclude, um, I don't have any tips or tricks for you. This isn't one of those videos that's like, I have bad skin and here's what I do and you should try it too. I have zero knowledge to pass on because I've never found anything that works and it's held me back from a lot of things and I wish that it didn't. I'm sure there were a lot of cool videos and projects and photo shoots that would have been a blast, but I was too self-conscious and I said no. But I'm not gonna be a brat. I'm gonna realize that nobody's perfect and everybody has that one thing that they hate about themselves. I've talked about it before and this is just another, another one of those for me. It's also made me stronger and made me realize that I can push through it and I have to be beautiful in other ways. I think most of us would rather hang out with somebody who has iffy skin but is a genuinely kind person than someone who is perfect and is a jerk. Not to say that everyone who looks perfect is a jerk, but I mean, probably. So life is unfair and group hugged. Everybody's had to deal with this kind of crap. And uh, you can go ahead and suggest to me all your products and regimens and all your silly little hoodoo tricks. They probably won't work, but uh, I'll listen. Oh, but Lisa, this one is made with the urine of hornets from Bulgaria, and it's going to extract all the dirt and turn it into butterflies and then they'll fly away forever. Actually, that one sounds pretty good. You can send that one my way. I like the butterfly thing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe because you know my channel, it's pretty awesome. You wanna be part of this.